let's have a look at this example of the stresses finding out these normal stresses in the questions in first example we have to solve the member and find out the normal stresses in the member we are given with the force and the dimensions of the member we know that stress is equals to force upon area we have been given with force and we have to find out the area with the help of dimension the area will be calculating the area for the given member the area comes out to be millimeter square or meter square while the force we are given is in kilonewtons so stress is equals to 600 10 raised to power 3 newtons over 0 0.12 meter square upon solving it it comes out as 5 exponent 6 newton per meter square or you can say 5 mega pascal which was the required answer I have a look at example number 2 it is a circular column given that its outer diameter is 350 millimeters inner diameter is 300 millimeters and the force on column is 2000 kN. The modulus of elasticity is given as 200 gigapascals. And in part A, we have to find out the stress. We know that stress is equal to force over area. For this formula, we are provided with force, but we need the area. Area may be calculated as Since it's circular, since it is hollow, so we will be subtracting the hollow part. The area comes out to be two two five two five. Substituting the value in stress formula, we have been given with the force that is two thousand newtons since it was kilonewtons so we converted it into newtons with exponent 3 area 22525.44 exponent minus 6 meter square millimeter square we know that 1 meter square is equal to 10 raised power 6 millimeter square so the answer comes out to be 78.35 exponent 6 newton per meter square or 78.35 mega pascals that is the required answer of the part A for part B we know that strain is equals to stress over modulus of elasticity we are given with modulus of elasticity as 200 gigapascal so we divide the stress 78.35 exponent 6 over 200 exponent 9 since gigapascal represents exponent 9 so the strain comes out to be 3. 917 exponent minus 4 the shortening of the column will be with respect to this length we know that strain is equals to change in length over the original length the change in length is to be find out so change in length is equals to length into strain so change in length is equal to 3.917 exponent 
minus 4 into 5 meters. It comes out to be delta L is equal to 1.95 exponent uh, 3 meter or you can say that 1.95 millimeter. This is the second answer. Having a third question related to the stresses, we are required here to design a square steel column with a yield strength of 250 megapascal. We are given here as the maximum strength that can bear within elastic limits. And the load is 1000 kilo newtons. And the column is square. Area of square is equal to A square. If we are taking the dimension of square as A. So let's just solve by using the same formula. Stress is equal to force over area. We need to find out this. So area is equal to force over stress. Here we substitute for area as a square is equal to force is given as thousand exponent three. Converting kilonewton into newton over stress value two fifty exponent six. Mega stands for 6. A square is equal to 1000 Newton over 250 exponent 6 Newton per meter square. Newton cancels out Newton. Under root on both the sides, A is equal to that gives us one dimension meter square, it goes upwards. So A comes out to be 0 0.0632 meters. Or you can say A is equal to 63.2 millimeters. So the column design would be by as 63.2 millimeters. So this would be the required column dimensions under the given loading and stress. Thanks for watching.